Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Merge NYC episode. Yes, guys, day two. We did a Merge NYC yesterday. We're going to do some more Merge NYC today. If you guys do enjoy all of the episodes, make sure you guys show it some love. Give it a thumbs up. Leave some comments down below and subscribe if you are new. So if you guys have no idea what this is, it's a game called Emerge NYC. It's actually being developed by a good friend of mine in real life. And um, it's still in like a you know early phase but it's getting there it's it's come a long way if you guys have been rocking out with us for a while on the channel we we have seen it from the beginning and it's coming a long way so anyway we're here at the quarters of engine 78 and ladder 57 and we're just gonna be on duty and we'll see what happens today guys so it's about midday right now I think it's about like 12 or 1 o'clock in game time so let's see what happens guys Alright guys, so Engine 78, we just got uh, dispatched to a report of a person. Looks like they were riding their bicycle and they got hit by a vehicle. So we're going to be responding to the box. And let's go ahead and head out. Here's a little brief introduction or information about what's going on. So box 1231, one, EMS trauma box, bicycle is struck. So let's go ahead and head over there guys. Turn this thing on, release the brakes. So engine 78, we're going to be responding. Okay, that's when I started this already. <laughs> Alright, let's roll out. Make sure we close our doors up. And we're going to be first due. So a lot of times, in, like say in New York City and a lot of other cities around the United States, um, sometimes an engine could get to a call before an ambulance, so they actually respond to EMS calls, which is pretty cool. And then they just pretty much up, um, apply basic aid into EMS gets on scene. So we gotta head to the 96th Street Traverse. It should be right over here. Yep, should be right here. Alright, let's see what we get. So we go ahead and punch it in the computer that we're going to be 1084. And I got people in the street here. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and try to just block off this area a little bit with the truck. Definitely want to make sure we use our engine to kind of keep us safe. Turn off that siren. Let's hop out. Let's see how we can help this person out. Should have our gear on actually. Even though this isn't a fire call, you'd still want to have your basic gear on just in case. We don't want like people blood getting on us and stuff like that. So even though it's not a fire call, it's good to have our gear on. Let's grab our EMS bag, which is gonna be right up here. Whoops. We can't actually grab it yet, so just roll playing it. Alright, so we got our EMS bag. Let's see what's going on. Uh, EMS is still on the way. Sometimes it takes a little while. Oh, we got blood. Oh, that does not look good at all, guys. Okay, what happened? Was this a hit and run? The car didn't stop? Oh, crap. Looks like we got a hit and run. Alright, um, let's go ahead and call it in. So, engine 78 to Manhattan. Be advised, we got one victim. We're going to need that bus on a rush. Also, can we advise NYPD respond for traffic as well as possible hit and run vehicle? that they're gonna have to come and find. All right, so let me try to just take care of this guy until EMS gets here. Let's go ahead and just take a look here. Oh man, his legs, damn his legs looks like it broke. All right, you're gonna be okay, buddy, okay? We're gonna get you the ambulance here as soon as possible, all right, buddy? It's gonna be okay, don't worry. It's gonna be okay.
Alright guys, so as you can see, NYPD is now on scene. Uh, we're going to go ahead and take a police report here from the witnesses and try to um, see if we can find that car that did the hit and run as well. We're still waiting for the ambulance to get here too. Like I said, sometime ambulance could take a little while in the city. They're, they should be here shortly though. So sir, can you just tell me what happened? Did you see what type of vehicle hit him? Color, make, model? Okay, could you tell what the person that was driving looked like? Was it a man or woman? Any information you could tell me, sir? Okay. Alright, thank you. Alright guys, so EMS just got the call. We're going to go ahead and respond to the person that got hit by the uh, vehicle. So let's go ahead and bring our ambulance down. We're going to be bringing our Ford ambulance down today. And we're going to be leaving the hospital. We actually just picked dropped off another patient so we're getting right back into it here turn all our lights on and we're gonna probably just take 8th Avenue down again alright let's go Alright guys, so we now have NYPD, we have EMS, FDY on scene. So we're going to go ahead and try to get this guy transported out of here now. So let's head over here. Let's go ahead and take our stroller out. I said our stroller, our stretcher out. <laughs> oh man. Alright, let's bring it over here. Bring it to our patient here. next to him. Let's go ahead and put it there. Let's drop it down low. Oops. Okay. And let's put him on the stretcher. Now as far as I know we can't actually put him on the stretcher yet but this is still pretty cool that there's like a dedicated EMS style call out which is pretty cool. I'm not sure if there's any more. Let me know if there's any more EMS call outs you guys have seen in the game. This was the first one I found. I actually didn't even know there were any um, in the first place, so this is pretty cool. So, um, let's go ahead and get him on to the stretcher. I don't think we could actually get him on yet, but it's just role playing getting him on here. Let's see, move patient. Yeah, I don't think we could actually do anything yet. I think that's gonna be like probably in the next updates, we'll be able to move them. Either that or we're just doing it wrong. So let me know in the comment section either way, but just going to role play it out. See if maybe we could uh, get this closer to him maybe. <laughs> I 
I don't want to like put it on top of him, but let me just like I just want to just to make sure that I can't do anything. <laughs> so messed up, I like literally have it on top of him there. But I just want to see if this works or not. That's all. Yeah, I don't think I could uh, move him at all. So we're just gonna role play that we got him on. And we're going to lift this back up. So the patient is now on the stretcher. Let's get him back into the ambulance here. And let's go ahead and return the stretcher back in. Close up the doors. And let's see if we can get him to the hospital. Let's see if I can remember how to get back to the hospital here. Is it on the map? I know where it's at though. It's like... Yo, it's the blue one on the map. I see it. This is it right here, right? Nope, that's the precinct. It's somewhere over there, though, because we took 8th Avenue. Actually, no. I don't know where it's at, actually. It gotta be over there, because we took 8th Avenue down when we came in with the ambulance, so... If we take 9th Avenue up, we should somewhat find it. Let's see if we can find it here. Let's go ahead and pull a U-turn. Hopefully, NYPD will be able to find the person that hit this guy. It's pretty messed up that they just like left them there. Luckily, some witnesses came and helped them out. I can't see. Hold up. Alright, so what we could do to role play them, get it into the vehicle. Alright, so they're gone. They're now inside of the ambulance. Try to transport this guy here. He should be okay. Looks like he, he's gonna have some s severe uh, leg injuries, but he he should be okay though. Oh my goodness. Come on, AI. Come on, man. Don't do that to us. Alright, we gotta find the hospital. I have no idea where it's at, but it's over here somewhere. I feel like it's on 59th Street, because it was on a big block. I think. Alright, so it's not there. Actually, I think it's on. Oh, yeah, it's on, it is on knife. I forgot. Duh. Now, I'm not sure if there's like an actual emergency exit or entrance. Let's drive around and look. I don't think there is, though. At least not yet. Yeah, there's no like side entrance or anything like that. So. We're back at the hospital, so we're going to drop this patient off here. I just wanted to circle the block just to make sure there, was, there wasn't like an ER room that we could go right into, so I just want to double check. If not, we'll take them into the front entrance there. Yeah, I don't see an emergency room entrance. Alright, so we'll take them in through the front. No big deal. We'll park right up here. And we will take them in. Whoops. Alright, let's park and break on. Let's get out. Let's run back here. Take this back out. And let's grab it. Oh, yeah, we got it. All right. So let's get this guy inside. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this episode. If you did, make sure you guys hit that like button. Leave some comments down below. Let me know what else you guys would like to see in Emerge NYC. And I'll try to make 
uh, I'll try to make it happen. But anyway, guys, thank you guys for watching. Really do hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace!